Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Hello everybody. Um, this here's the real intro to this video. Uh, so, how do I look? Look a little scruffy, do I? Ugh. Oh, look a little on the unkept side, don't you know? All right. Well, this is the the real intro to this video. Um, I normally put up a video around Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, and if you notice this week, I did not do that. And uh, I'm going to share the reason why. Um, Wednesday night about 9.30ish p.m. I was laying back, chilling, editing some video, uploading some video. <clears throat> and I started feeling some pain in my right hand side, my lower gut here. So I thought maybe it was a little heartburn or something. So I got up and took a heartburn tablet. That didn't help. Um... <clears throat> So about 10 o'clock, quarter after, something like that, ah, that little bit of pain went to a lot of bit of pain. And next thing I know, I started feeling a big bulge in my right-hand side. Well, about 11.30, that bulge had turned into a bulge about the size of a softball. And, uh, well, to make a long story short, <clears throat> Probably within an hour later, I was squunched up in a fetal position laying on a gurney in the emergency room, getting prepared for uh, surgery, for emergency surgery. And uh, so what they decided was my gallbladder had become all plugged up with gallstones and sludge is what he called it. And uh, it had swollen up to about the size of a softball and they had to get it out of there. So they cut about four different incisions in me to work it out of there and they got it out of there. So then I spent the next four days laying in a hospital bed with tubes down my nose, tubes in my stomach, tubes in my arms and uh, I laid there for about four days getting uh, an intravenous um, antibiotic drip in my body because I guess some of the yuck in the gallbladder. The gallbladder didn't burst, but it was right on the verge of bursting, and it did do a little leakage, I guess. So they had to clean me out real good, and I'm still taking antibiotics, and I'm still in the recovery mode. But <clears throat> so that's why I didn't post a video this this past midweek and uh, and it's probably going to be a few days before I can get up and about good enough um, to do any real outboard mechanic. Um, now, just because I say that, or just because I'm flat on my back in the hospital, <clears throat> it don't mean that they quit coming. Oh, no. They come. So, even while I was in the hospital, I, I had my cell phone, and I talked to people and so forth, and uh, I allowed some folks to bring a boat in here I'm going to show you, and then I had a couple more outboards come in. That we'll be getting to hopefully by the end of this week. I hope to be up and, and about. But right now as we speak, I still have, I think, 9 or 11 metal staples <clears throat> holding me together. And you want to see those? 
That's some pretty gross stuff. But I'll show you if you want to see them. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a five count. I'm going to count down from five. And then I'm going to flash some stuff up on that screen in this video. You got a weak stomach? Might want to look away. Might want to send the kids down to the bunker. Five, four, three, two, one. Here you go. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, those are metal stitches that they put in the metal. Metal sutures. Staples. That's what they are. Staples. Metal. And then there's some up in the belly button. And then there's. Alright, that's some pretty gross stuff, huh? Well, those are supposed to come out this Tuesday, I believe. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday. I gotta look. But they're supposed to take them staples out and do my post-surgery eval and all that. So, right now I'm not supposed to lift more than 10 pounds, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty weak. Um, Still can just barely get around, and but I'm still above ground, so that's good news. Um, and for me, when I get like this, when I get all laid up like this, I, I just get depressed. Um, I don't like it. I I I, uh, I work with my hands. I'm always moving around. You know, always just going, going, going. And I was pushing it pretty hard <clears throat> prior to this happening. I was working till 11, 11.30 every night. Um, it's just the nature of living where I live. We have these long, long days. I have a certain window to make the money and to, uh, and to you know, get through the season and to keep up with things. I just have to do that. But it really gets me depressed when I can't just grind at it. Um, that, that's just me. That's just the way I am. I don't like to... Just laying around, sitting around, it just makes me depressed. I don't like it. So, so hopefully give me a few days and uh, we'll get some video of some actual work getting done. But I'm going to show you a couple of things that come in here right now and, uh, and uh, some stuff we're going to be doing here in the next old week or so. so. I like big boats and I cannot lie, but the other brothers they deny. They sit in a thingy that I call a dinghy. Me, I like them big and wide. I like big boats. I like big boats. I like them finer. Big like an ocean liner. I like them mean, long and lean. I like big boats. Ain't it pretty? That's a Johnson on a locally built, I believe it's a 115, yeah. And this thing is on a, what they call Emerson skiff. These are locally built right here on Kodiak Island. And, and the guy, he doesn't do it anymore. Um, but this is number five that he built. And, I mean, you talk about a well-made, tough, tough boat. Um, you know, you buy a boat like that. You know, if you had this down in Florida or whatnot, you know, you could use this as an offshore bay boat type thing. I mean, and you'd never have to buy another boat ever. Um, it's made out of super heavy welded aluminum. Beautiful lines on it. Um... You could run that up on any beach you wanted. Just a nice boat. So all I'm going to be doing to this one is uh, it's been asleep for five years, she said. And they want me to just go through it and make sure, wake it up, bring it up, make sure it's all good to go. So hopefully I'll get on this come about Thursday. But really nice boat on a really nice trailer too. But you talk about built. These Emerson boats are just tough
Yeah, what a nice boat. Yeah, these Emerson boats. I don't know how many he built total, but I mean, he built cabin cruisers and everything else. But uh, the boat, I love the way it kind of canters in up at, up at the top. Just nice boats. Nice boats. He does a good job. All righty. Here's one that got dropped off while I was in the hospital. That's a Precision Blend 40 Yammy. I'm pretty sure that's a trip. It's got the triplets on it. He said it was stumbling. It starts, but it stumbles. I don't see no feet on it, so I don't, anyway. But he says it stumbles. So this little guy showed up, so I guess I'll need to call him and find out what's going on with it or what he wants done with it, but yeah. So that one showed up. So that's what we got coming up. And uh, so, and I'm sure within a day or two, I'll have more stuff show up in here. So then I've got a couple of my own projects. I also still got the Suzuki DT40. I put it on my boat and everything the night before uh, I had to go into surgery. I was going to take it out and do a run, test out that lower unit and all and go for a good boat ride. I still hope to get that done this week. So, um, got some things coming up, but I'm just going to have to ease back into it and let the old bod catch up to me. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one and thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.